A Bronx organization is giving second chances to people who have spent time behind bars. Borough reporter Aaron Clark explains. A couple of years ago, the roof of the nonprofit, the Osborne Association, started showing its age. Our staff began to prop up umbrellas over their desks to catch water pouring in on them whenever it rained. So they installed a new roof, but this one is decidedly different. It's the nation's first blue and green roof system. It's designed to protect not only the staff, but the city's overburdened sewer system, too. It's helping keep New York Harbor clean by absorbing water that might otherwise overwhelm sewers during a storm, carrying sewage into local waters. The green planted area absorbs st storm water in the soil, and the plants uh, respire it out, so a lot is absorbed by the plants itself. The blue trays here um, really delay the onset of that stormwater into the sewer system. Its designers say this modular system is better suited for older buildings that can't take the weight of a traditional green roof. The plants in this case create a habitat for honeybees in the Osborne Association's urban beekeeping project. It supports a catering business that employs inmates who learn skills that can help them when they return home. We want to be able to market our honey as a way of also being able to create new jobs. Just like the roof is getting a second chance, so are many of the people working on it and throughout the Osborne Association building. That's because former inmates find jobs and housing through Osborne. 28-year-old Edward Finch maintains the honey beehives and is also acquiring other skills. I do a little bit of um, electrical work, um, sheetrock. Uh, constructing things. Skills that are already helping him towards a future as an engineer and perhaps starting his own business. Skills he might have not acquired if it wasn't for the second chance Osborne provided. In the Bronx, Aaron Clark, New York One.